What is up guys, N64 Slayer here, and today I'm going to show you how to make fully custom layouts in MSI Afterburner and Rivetuner. As you can see in the top left of my screen, I currently have a fully custom overlay. It displays GPU temps, TPU temps, usages, and my frames, as well as a pie chart, and I'm going to show you how to do it all in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download MSI Afterburner. It will be linked in the description or you can simply look up MSI Afterburner download. Now in the installer of MSI Afterburner it will ask you to download Rivetuner and you're going to want to do that. Once you have installed MSI Afterburner you're going to want to open it up and it will ask you to make changes to your device. Simply click yes. Now I'm going to show you the easy way of doing things first. You don't have to follow this. In fact, I recommend that you don't, but this is the way that most YouTubers will tell you how to do things. So MSI Afterburner, go to settings, go to monitoring. In here, you will click on all the usages and temperatures and stuff that you want. The check mark that is, you check mark it. And then you will click on screen display. So I'm gonna do on screen display for temperature and usage. Do not do this if you're doing it the more complicated way. And I'll also do frame rate, it's already on there. Okay, I'm going to apply and okay. Now I'm going to show you how to open Revituner. So on the bottom right where your Windows bar is, you're going to go to Show Hidden Icons and you're going to click on the monitor one that is Revituner. Here there's a couple options. There's Start with Windows show on screen display you're always going to have that at one on you're going to want to at least and then you can change your font your text color text size as you can see you can move it around wherever you want and then you can also have an outline for your text and a box around your text now i'm going to show you an important setting that you must turn on to display things such as average frame rates and 1% lows and stuff like that. So you're going to go to setup and then you're going to scroll down in the general to enable benchmark mode. You're going to make sure this is checked otherwise certain features won't work. Now I'm going to show you how to view your on-screen display. So you're going to click plugins in the top and you're going to check mark next to overlay editor and then you're going to double click on it and here's my current overlay this is my custom one and this is the one I just put on in MSI Afterburner I cannot edit anything in here in fact it can't do anything at all that is why we like this fully custom one that allows us to move it around and stuff so now I'm going to hit X and I'm going to hit no hit OK and I'm going to remove the MSI Afterburner overlay. I'm going to go back to monitoring. I'm going to go to show an on screen display. I'm going to uncheck them. Apply. OK. Now I'm going to go back to where I just was. And here's where the magic happens. Here's where you can make fully custom overlays. In the description, I will have a file and it will have a few things. It will have the Rivetuner Overlay 1, which is the fully custom lo layout I have here. And then it will have three templates. And these templates are different pie charts that you can use. I'm going to give you a couple examples of the ones here. And I'm currently using template number three. So to get my layout working, you're going to want to go to Layouts. You're going to hit load and you're going to simply double click on the thing. I can show you that it works. I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to hit load, double click. It's as simple as that. But you have to make sure that you go to layouts, edit, and then you're going to go to browse. Here you're going to want to select template number three, which is the one that I'm using. And it will only work with this overlay. Or will this overlay won't work unless you choose template number three. 
Now I'm going to show you how to use data sources, tables, and layers. So to start with, data sources. We're going to hit edit, and we're going to hit add. In here, you can select things such as Windows, MSI Afterburner, and Internal How. I wouldn't use any of the other ones, as they don't have very many features. Windows, you can use to display things like hard drive and SSD speed. MSI Afterburner is going to be the main things, and it's the most accurate, so it's the one I use. And in internal, it will have a few more options than MSI Afterburner, but I wouldn't recommend using a lot of them over what is already in MSI Afterburner. So what you do is you just go over here and you check mark all the things that you want to have in your on-screen display. Then hit OK and OK. Now I'm going to show you how to use tables. So I already have a few set up and I'm going to show you how to make one and kind of what it does. So first off I would set the alignment to zero. You can name it if you want but I'm just going to add one onto here. Oh you're going to want to name it actually. So I'm going to name it GPU power. Forgot the R. I'm going to hit add. And then I'm going to scroll down to GPU power. Hit the check mark. Hit OK. Now you can add more than one to this. And essentially when you add it to your on-screen display, it will just display both of them in a row. Or you can make it lines. You can make it go up and down or left and right. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to... I just have all these as individual ones. So that way it makes things a lot easier. And I could just add multiple layers instead. So now I'm going to show you how to use layers. So I'm going to hit layers and I'm going to hit add. It will bring up a text layer. You can type text in here. You can type anything in here. Anything. Apply. Okay. So things like uh, this that I have is just a text layer. Now you can go over here, name it if you want. And you can go to the data source. So there's two ways to do this. Uh, you can either do it the data source way or the text table. I'm going to show the data source way first, even though I don't think it's as good as the text table. So in here, I can go to frame rate. Or actually, I'm going to go to RAM usage. I'm going to hit add current value macro. And then I'm going to hit OK. It will now give me RAM usage in percentages with a megabytes. Then I'm going to hit apply and OK. So here it is. This is how much RAM I'm using. I can delete this if I want. And it will just show up with the number. It doesn't matter. But with the other way, I'm going to make a new one. Text layer plus sign text table. Now I can go down to RAM usage, which is a table I made. And then it's going to say this rather than the percentages and stuff. Now here it will automatically put the megabytes in smaller numbers a little higher up like a asterisk. So whichever layout you prefer, I prefer this one. It's more compact and simple with things for degrees and stuff. It's much nicer. However, you can go in here and type two percentages and do it this way. You can find it on here, RAM usage. Just apply. Okay, it will not show up with the megabytes automatically. You're going to have to type that in manually. So it does the same thing. It's just, it can be easier. So now I'm going to show you how to make a graph or a pie chart using I'm going to do CPU temperature. So I'm going to go to layers, I'm going to add, drag this over here, delete the text. I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to go to the data source. You have to use data source for a graph. You're going to click the drop down, and you're going to scroll down to the one you want. So CPU temperature. I'm going to click add embedded image, and then this drop down to use custom template. Now we're going to go into the settings here 
and here you can either click and drag where you want what sprite you want but I know the number so I'm just going to type in 128 so that will put me in this black box here and now I will select the number of sprites that I want and I want 11 animations because there's 11 of these circles here and then it will show you a preview of the 11, 11 images but they're not in all in a row so when I click 4 on the spirits number per line it will now do the full animation and it will put them in a row so now I'm gonna hit resize image to layer extent I'm gonna hit OK OK apply OK so now this will display my CPU temperature now I'm going to show you how to make one of these so I'm going to hit add text layer I'm going to delete this I'm going to hit plus I'm going to hit I'm going to do text table on this one this is the same as the RAM but I'm going to use this for the CPU so CPU temperature I'm going to hit OK apply OK so now it tells me my CPU temperature and here's the graph to go with it I can also change the color of the graph by using custom text color hit this I can change it to blue or whatever color I want apply and OK so now I'm going to show you how to realign the text so you're going to double click on the text that you want and these should be all zero when you load it up now in the margins in the top one you're gonna put a positive number and it's gonna make it go down and in the left one you're gonna put in a positive number and it's going to go right it's backwards but it, it makes sense so I'm gonna make this five I'm gonna hit apply it moves it down five I'm going to make this five I'm going to hit apply it moves to the right five and now I can align this so these ones you see how the text box is quite a distance from the actual text that's because I've already done it on these and I've perfectly aligned them that's gonna be pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed and if you'd like to help me out you can subscribe like the video whatever anything helps to make my channel grow if you have any questions feel free to ask down below in the comment section. I'd love to help out and I'll see you guys in the next video.